Just like this black heron, an African wading bird uses a particular hunting tactic called canopy feeding. Shading the water with its wings changes the optics. In the dark, a person's perception of this fountain becomes completely different. When I arrived at the site, I noticed a man wearing a class 3 safety vest, a safety requirement at night and in low light conditions for workers in Canada. I saw him walk over to a position at the site about 5 meters away from the actual fountain, adjacent to the fountain's nameplate. What came next? The modern version of a canary in a coal mine. I smelt the mercaptan. Natural gas and other odorless gases that will kill people often receive a non-toxic smelly additive that will kill no canaries. My nose sent something funky. Then I saw bubbles rising around the center pedestal of the fountain and inside the circumference of Riapel's four animals on the smaller pedestals, an owl, a fish, a bear, and a dog. As more and more of the mercaptan infused natural gas rose above the water surface, I can hear a young girl say, Something smells rotten. A little at a time, the first bubbles to appear took a light, and the flames began a mesmerizing dance on the water of the basin. The presence of the wind contributed to the atmosphere that night, moving the flames hither and thither, constantly changing the shadows on the surrounding buildings. Fire upon the water seems to create a type of cognitive disconnect, not quite as potent as one putting out a fire with gasoline, though its presence is a noticeable one. Taught that water will extinguish fire, young individuals seem more enchanted by the entire display before them. Certainly, an evening without a breeze would create quite a different display, both on the water and the walls and windows of the adjacent architectural structures.